Hi folks, my name is Paul B.J. Ransbury, President of APS Emergency Maneuver Training. I want to just give you a short discussion on the All Attitude Upset Recovery Checklist. We often get questions, usually uh, by people online who are looking at the procedure, which isn't in fact a procedure at all. It's a techniques list, it's a strategy by which to resolve a wide variety of upsets towards recovery. And they're always curious as to, well, is this going to work for my airplane? Is this in contradiction to my manufacturer re recommended procedures? Is this in compliance with the airplane upset recovery training aid? Well, first off, your manufacturer's recommended procedures always have priority, and that's exactly what we teach at APS. And everything we teach is also in direct compliance with the airplane upset recovery training aid. You see, at APS Emergency Maneuver Training, we became experts in the techniques taught in the airplane upset recovery training aid almost a decade ago. And what we found is that that information is absolutely critical. The recommended techniques and strategies in that guide are exactly where you need to start, you need to have that education, and we in fact provide an online course that teaches it called the uh, Core Upset Recovery Concepts for Professional Jet Pilots. That's most definitely where to start. However, what we found is over these years training thousands and thousands of pilots is that academic study is simply not enough. And in fact, when people are faced with a real emergency, their brain starts shutting down. Even if you spent 30 minutes to an hour in a simulator, looking at the techniques, understanding the concepts of the airplane upset recovery training aid, we have found when people get put in a real no kidding situation in a real airplane, their brain has a tendency to just shut down on them and they have no idea where to start at all. It's fine to tell them that you know you need to manage angle of attack, you need to manage your energy, you need to reorient the lift vector, and academically pilots understand that. If you sit them in a classroom or in a simulator and you show them those concepts, they all get it. And in fact, many times, as we find in our simulator program, that pilots are actually quite good at applying the strategies with very little training to be effective in an upset recovery. Now the problem is, is in a real situation, we're human animals and when you start getting threatened in a real emergency, we have that flight or flight mechanism and of course, we have nowhere to go in the cockpit. We have to do something and it has to be effective. So simply put, the All Attitude Upset Recovery Checklist is a strategy. It's an analysis of a situation that can lead it towards recovery. A wide variety of situations can be processed towards recovery to be consistent and be efficient every single time that is in compliance with the airplane upset recovery training aid, does not contradict your recommended procedures in your manual, if anything enhances your skill level as a pilot. So as you read the article, think of it that way. This is a strategy that I'm going to be using to resolve a situation towards recovery in a situation where I'm going to be mentally incapacitated, I'm going to be overwhelmed, I'm going to want to rush, and my body's going to want to shut down. And you need proper training. I can't overemphasize the fact that just reading this article does not prepare you for dealing with an upset situation. In our experience for over a decade, and as I said before, training, over th training thousands and thousands of pilots, now just passing 3,000 pilots we've trained, we have found that the strategy of some kind needs to be something that you can draw in an emergency and you have to have the ability to be able to recall it. And we call that recall technology. So that is really the linchpin. That has found what we found is the core element of creating a pilot that is competent and effective to maximize their chances of recovering an airplane from an in-flight upset. And that's really what it's all about. It's improving safety. So there's never one procedure that's going to solve anything. And again, I need to emphasize this is not a procedure. It is a techniques checklist that you can use. They're like tools in a toolbox. When you get to a checklist item, for example, if you get to the roll step, push power rudder roll, and you don't need to roll, then you don't do it. If you get to the power step and your power is set, you don't need to do it. But again, the process is a process by which we resolve a situation to recovery. When it comes right down to it, the primary tools we have in our cockpit pitch, roll, yaw, and power need to be organized in a manner by which you can optimize your ability to recover the airplane. Now there's ancillary items that help those processes. For example, with power. 
For, you may want to be using speed brakes with power idle. For using the push step or the climb step when you're loading and unloading the airplane, you want to, might want to be using trim to assist you. All those are integrated into the concepts, strategies, and considerations of the All Attitude Upset Recovery Checklist. You need to have training. And it takes quite a long time. It takes you at least a couple days and several hours of training with an APS expert so you understand these concepts. So this is a place to start. You have to start academically. You have to understand what's going on. The way to get going if you're not coming for a training soon or it's not planned at all for you at this point is get going on the academics. Go ahead and sign up for that course on the Airplane Upset Recovery Training Aid. And again, the APS version, which is in direct compliance, is called the Core Upset Recovery Concepts for Professional Jet Pilots. And when you come to our program, we're going to be building on those concepts, putting them into a manner by which you can use them in the cockpit in a life-threatening situation to save you, save the aircraft, and save the lives of those people who fly with you. We're all about safety and making you a safer pilot and giving you the tools and the abilities to save your life. We look forward to having you at APS and safe journeys and safe flying to everyone.